Welcome back to Squawk Box. Let's bring you up to speed on the growing coronavirus outbreak here in the United States. The Senate has approved uh, that more than $8 billion emergency package. The bill uh, now heads to President Trump. The president is expected to sign it. Facebook and Google are asking their employees in the San Francisco area to work from home. The two tech giants making the move to help minimize the spread of the coronavirus there as the city and the state of California deal with a growing number of cases. Apple, meanwhile, is cracking down on apps related to the outbreak. Developers tell CNBC the company is rejecting apps that aren't recognized, that aren't from recognized organizations like governments or hospitals. Good. And Tito's is warning customers about using its vodka, vodka to make homemade hand uh, sanitizer. Sanitizier says he's <laughs> responding to several inquiries on uh, Twitter. The company said, per the CDC, that its vodka does not meet the alcohol requirement uh, needed for hand sanitizer. You have to have 60 or 70 percent alcohol, at least, to kill a virus, according to the CDC. I think Tito's is like 40 percent or something. So Yeah, I, I, Most, yeah. Probably, it's probably even 90. What's isopropyl? Isn't it 90 right. percent or whatever it is? Is it really? Because yeah. 40 is 80 proof, and, you know, 100 proof is, is really strong. That's 50 percent alcohol, so you need 70 you beat the you virus when you're blind. I think. Alcohol they tell you with any of the Purell or any of these things, you have to have like 60 to 70 That was a problem with, with kids you know, putting their hands in their mouth after you put Purell on them. I remember that when my kids were younger, oh, you really? didn't want before it, before it dried, oh, you didn't want the alcohol, the alcohol content going, uh, going into their mouth. Yeah. Crazy stories. Yeah.